Hey, how's it going, guys? It's me, David, here again for another shave. Um, I don't know. I just tripped out that my last shave was so damn short. It was like a 13-minute video. So I felt a little bit out of character. So I actually felt a little incomplete. So I actually had to come back today for another shave. Um, today, um, it seems like every single shave has been kind of a little bit of a special shave. Um, today is actually kind of part of the same deal. Um, today, I am shaving with a Razor Rock son of Zeus now little interesting story with this I was contacted um, about a week ago uh, by a gentleman he uses an alias on Facebook um, so I'm not sure if he would want me to say his name or say who he is he does watch my videos and um, he's an older gentleman he said uh, with uh, that coming of age and everything he's developed some uh, allergies to products so um, he asked, since I have a family full of shavers, myself, my wife, my stepdaughter, and my son, all wet shaved. So he said that um, if I wouldn't mind him sending me some products for the family to use, um, quite a bit of Razor Rock products, amongst a bunch of other ones, it was a good amount of products. And um, I just want this gentleman, again, he knows who he is, um, to know that I, we as a family appreciate um, what he sent us. And um, so today, this shave is for him. Uh, Razorock Son of Zeus, which smells amazing. Um, so again, just the generosity of, of people in the wet shaving community uh, never ceases to amaze me. Um, he definitely didn't have to do this. He could have very easily went onto the buy sale trade groups and pieced this out or even as a lot sold some of this stuff. But he decided to give it to me. Um, knowing that my family would put it to you. So, again, we truly do appreciate you, sir. Um, and this is for you. This Son of Zeus. This is an epic scent. If you haven't tried a Son of Zeus, I would recommend this. I don't know what it's based on or any of that, but it smells amazing. And this is probably one of, I don't know if it's just something about this particular scent, how they made it, but this is probably the strongest scented, one of the stronger scented Razor Rock soaps. Again, the particular soap I got from Razor Rock the Stallion, I don't know if I got a good, happened to be a good puck or whatever the case may be, but that was strongly scented. This son of Zeus, money. This is money right here. Great scent, great scent strength. Now, today I'm, I'm, I'm gonna have to buy myself is the splash because this is definitely a soap that deserves its matching aftershave. Damn, I was trying not to get soap on this shirt today. Oh, just so you guys can see, this is another one of the Soul Sharp Limited shirts that will be released next Friday, so we're less than a week away. Has the National Stray Razor, Soul Sharp Limited, established 2015. Also, as you guys can see the back, this is a straight razor version of the traditional shaving shirt. I also have a DE version, so you guys can check that out, SoulSharpLimited.com. I know it sounds like a bit of a commercial, but come on, if I'm going to be doing videos, I might as well try to get a little bit of a commercial action going on here. I do so, We do so much uh, product reviews for everybody else and help them sell their product, why not sell my own? This is excellent. And actually, I think it could use a little bit more water. Really nice. Yeah. Definitely taking the water real well. So, excellent job by Razor Rock. Let me move some of this. I got a bunch of... I have a bunch of containers here from uh, when people will send me samples. So, I'm gonna clean out those those containers and for when I'm gonna send out samples to people, you know, recycle, no, no reason to throw good, perfectly good containers away. Damn it. There we go. So if you guys missed it yesterday, I debuted that uh, that new waiting butcher I, I got myself. You know, and I got rescaled. 
for my birthday. It's an absolute beauty with the blue pua. This is last year's birthday razor. Again, my favorite razor of them all. That bow razor was something else. That was really good. I really enjoy this scent. Again, I love a lot of the artisans that are out, man. Shaver Heaven, everybody. Just something about Razor Rock. They come up with such great cologne style scents. You can never really classify them as, at least I can't I never classify them like as a barber shop or anything, but they're just, their cologne style scents are great. You know, I've been, especially recently, I've been getting a lot of, like, requests for, like, oh, what kind of razor do you recommend and for a new user and all that stuff. You know, all the basics, you know, 5H round point, you know, those are all, like, that's, like, the famous size for, for new shavers and stuff. So, it's pretty standard, but it's just, like, more so than ever, I'm really realizing that every single razor, man, um, Change a little bit different. Like I have now three weight and butcher razors that are now in my rotation with the one that I got yesterday. All three of them shape completely different. Love them all. Again, this was my favorite, but they all shape different. I just find that really, really interesting. So, just so people understand that you really, really got to accept the fact that your mileage may vary. So, don't take any recommendations that we give you as the gospel, because what works for us won't always work for you, but understand that it, at, the, at, at the very least, we're going to recommend you something that'll get the job done. Whether it ends up being your favorite thing, eh, who knows, probably won't, but you know, we'll at least get you in the relative right direction. There's just so much stuff to choose from, and Especially when you're dealing with these vintage products. Maybe maybe because I'm more of a vintage uh, razor shaver. I have more vintage products. The vintage are all different sizes. The stocks are different thicknesses. You know. So it's a. It's a uh, excuse me. Everything feels like it's a. You know just a different game. Um. So maybe if you get like the modern production razors, it may feel a little bit more consistent uh, with modern technology. I'm sure the stock in which they're forging these razors are much more consistent size. But yeah, if you're somebody that's going vintage, expect a different performing, a different performance pretty much every razor you get. Also with the vintages, I, I probably also put in the, the custom razors too. Those are all going to be different. Damn it. Damon from Old Town Shade and put it out there today that 
please I see on the forums he released a flyer April 25th uh, Big Shave West it's gonna be a convention style meetup over here in Old Town Pasadena really looking forward to that everything good again I'm still testing out this angle um, I do like the new angle so I'm hoping you guys are liking it again give me feedback though if you guys think I should change something like I know some feedback people were giving me where it needed to be up close which I agreed and I moved it upward so that when I move my hands around my hand isn't in front of the camera which is causing a lot of the out of focus so because when I move my hand into the camera lens it focuses in on the closer object and screw up the far object so no but so yeah it's gonna be a lot of fun I know there's going to be some real shaving royalty there. Um, I talked to Damon and talked to some of the other people that are involved in kind of putting this together. So there's going to be some cool people. So I'm really looking forward to it. And hopefully anybody that can make it, you know, try to make it out here. I've never shaved with earrings on like this. Yes, I know some of you old school guys are probably going to think I'm nuts for wearing these bigger earrings, but it's kind of the generation and the, you know, the way I grew up. So, please don't judge. Chris Bailey, don't have a heart attack. I don't wear these on job interviews. Third and final pass. Really enjoyable shave. And just right off the bat, I think Son of Zeus is on the is some of my one of my top scents for a razor rock. I think Son of Zeus, the Stallion, and Z Pepino. I think those have to be my three my three favorite uh, Razor Rock scents. Because the question always comes up on the forums. Um, so that's just my opinion. Z Pepino, Son of Zeus, and the Stallion. Good stuff. Oh, and also they came in this pack with Don Marco. Don Marco was really good. Uh, orangey scent, but it wasn't like a sick... Um, What's it called? Industrial type of scent. It was really nice, clean, crisp, just fresh. So Don Marco's going to be nice too. Probably won't be in the top three, but it's really nice as well. What I do like about this is now I can lean forward towards the mirror to get a little close-up look without being outside of the camera because when the camera was set up right here, this is where it used to be set up right in this corner, you know, you would lose half of my face. I don't know, I guess yesterday I was just so damn excited about the new razor. I flew I flew by that shave. There we go. 
side of the water is now for the warm water rinse. I like to have it nice and strong. Off my hands, I think I gotta touch up my neck a little bit. I was talking a little bit too much when I uh, was doing my neck, so good enough for me. Yeah, helped out. Now I'm gonna do a cold water rinse. That there goes a long way, man. I've used it in 90% of my shaves for the last like three, four months, and that's how much I've used. So, there's an excellent, excellent investment. And again, if there's any weak part of my shave game, is going to be aftershaves. I don't have very many aftershaves, so I'm gonna go ahead and use Fine Platinum to go with this. Is it a perfect match? I don't know, but it is a cologne type scent. And just quite frankly, it's one of my favorite ones to use anyway, so. Gotta trim up the goatee. Some of the hairs are getting a little long, see? So, so. so, okay, guys. Hey, thank you for sticking with me through this shave. I think this one went by pretty quick, too. Ah, 17 minutes. Not that quick. Okay, sorry. Hey, remember, visit uh, SoSharpLimited.com. Uh, website if all goes planned tonight it should be up tomorrow we'll see god willing hopefully and then uh friday the 27th all products go on sale this is one of them right here you guys have a good one thank you